Hello and welcome to a new game that isn't new at all. It was released three years ago and it is Quern Undying Thoughts by Sadbox Entertainment. Yeah, released in 2016. Um, it's a puzzle game. It's not short, it's not super long. <laughs> that's all I know. But that's enough for me to be excited, I guess. It looks pretty good so far. I mean, I've only seen this menu screen, but I like it. It's gray. It's a nice car of scheme. <laughs> I like the waves. This looks like like a Unity game, right? I don't know. Anyway, let's start the game. You can highlight usable objects by holding down left art. Okay. I don't know what that means. I do know what that means. It's a pretty long loading screen. Um, I'm somewhat surprised. So again, I. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you might be new. So you might never have heard me say it, but I don't know anything about this game. I've never watched anyone play. I haven't read anything. I didn't look at any re real information. I just looked up the wiki page and that's where I got my info from there. <laughs> and yeah, I know what a quern is. It's like a mill, like a small hand powered mill thing to grind. This is not good. It looks like a crash. Nope, we came back. That was loud. Okay. Let us help you progress progress in the game. Sure. You can move freely with WASD, yes. Let us help you progress in the game, yes. These kinds of letters, okay. I was wondering if it's like letters like A, B, C. <laughs> but no, this kind. Welcome. Welcome. Okay. I am Professor William Maythorn. Although I bear responsibility for trapping you in this world, I have no intention of harming you in any way. As a matter of fact, you should consider yourself lucky, for I wish to share all my knowledge with you. I will grant you the opportunity to study all of my discoveries and examine my wondrous creations. Eventually, I will require your assistance in an essential matter. You must cooperate with me, for you have no reason or chance to resist. See, that doesn't sound very good. Also, I'm glad I don't have to read. <laughs> um, what is this? Three concentric circles and then, you know, segments. Eight total, and then two of them are I don't know, black, colored in, not white, not whatever. I don't know. Interesting. I guess it's more than eight segments. It's 16 segments. Because, yeah, whatever. <laughs> you can view the letters you have obtained by pressing L for log, I assume. That makes sense. Some objects can be picked up by clicking on them. Okay. So this is this where we came from? It looked like that to me. This was glowing and now it's not. We can't do anything with it. At this point. Okay. Can we climb this? Uh, almost. <laughs> but not really. Okay. Looks like there are pieces missing here. And here. Okay, I'll open my inventory. Uh, okay. I mean, I don't know. Okay. This goes, oh, this goes in there. Okay, that's why. Sure. I'm not ready for that yet. <laughs> so looking around. I guess we have to leave though. There's nothing else here. What is this? Nothing. Okay. All right, so the... Did we make the right shape? No, not quite. Wait, no, which one was it? I mean, I did the wrong thing now. <laughs> ah, okay, this one is facing here, this one is facing here, this one is facing straight down, okay. I don't know why I keep hitting space.
I did the wrong thing. The one below faces. Oh, oh yeah, this is the wrong. Yeah, like this. <laughs> Left and right, you know, it's hard sometimes. That was very loud again. I might have to turn down the sounds. We discovered the main square and we have a map too. This is very mist like and I enjoy it so far. <laughs> I mean, with nothing at all here, I'm already happy about this. It was pretty cheap when I bought it on Steam. So that's nice. <laughs> I like buying old games for cheap on sale. Can we open these doors or this door? Nope. Looks like a tree. Well, yeah, and there are trees back there, like spruce or whatever. Some some sort of uh, I forgot the name. Hmm, I know it. I just can't think of it. <laughs> that type of tree. It bothers me. I don't remember things. Can I pick up these crystals? No. We need some sort of pentagon thing to put in here, sure. Okay. Can we pour this lever? Nope. We need like a thing to go into it, maybe, and then pour it. Like a handle, basically. So this professor just traps us here, and now he needs our help. Which seems very odd as a setup. We'll see how that goes. Definitely feels like a Unity game, right? I have to look up if it actually is one. Can take this. What is this? A weird plate with like. Is that just like dirt? I'm not sure. Anyway, why why do I have it? Where did I put it? So we don't really seem to have very many options because everything is locked. You have to find and solve some puzzles, presumably. But I don't really see. Anywhere we can actually do things right now. All right, interesting at least. Can't fall in there. Good. Good to know. Have you tried all the doors yet? I don't think so. I mean, that's almost like the letter, but not really. Right, is there too many segments? I could just, yeah, we can choose which ones to rotate. But I don't know which ones to rotate, because we don't have, we only have the outside two. But I guess we can do those two. Is that right? Yeah. Or maybe those aren't the outside too. Maybe that's the. Maybe there's one in the middle of this and then that. I don't know. It's hard to interpret. But I assume we need to find more letters for this to make sense. I'm not sure though. I, I, yeah, that could be that could be the one I can solve. If it just doesn't feel like that. Have you missed any letters here? I mean, we haven't, we haven't been everywhere, so we just should keep exploring for now. Try all the doors, see where we can go. This looks locked as well. Yeah, there's not even, there's not even any mechanism I can trigger. So, definitely can't open that right now. Can't interact with this. Something glowing in there, but we can go up here. Okay, this is interesting. Hanging platform. Oh, I guess the platform is hanging. It's not a platform for hangings, which is 
encouraging. <laughs> and the torch. Well, I mean, a, why do I keep pressing space for inventory? Where, where is that a thing? Nowhere. <laughs> I guess in the long dark I press space and then I click uh, the radial menu thing, but okay. I mean, this is basically just a torch. Q is weird for inventory though, still. Let's listen, listen to another letter, I guess. When I set foot in this island, I was an enthusiastic archaeologist in search for the remains of an ancient civilization, the Dalmar. In manuscripts, they refer to this place as the Forbidden World. They called it Guan Quernalok. To simplify it, by the right of the explorer, I gave this island a new name, Quern. Okay. I soon realized that this world means much more than an archaeological site, and my interests expanded. To make you understand the extraordinary nature of this island, and to clarify my deeds for you, I left a series of letters around the island. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. So there's the remaining three segments. So it's Dharmar and the the Forbidden World Karnalot. <laughs> which is interesting. And he's improvised to Quarn, which, you know, sure. I don't know. Let's just go. I'm starring for no reason. Um, can you need a key for this. Can't take any of these cool things, even though I want them. Can we do this? We can. Put it back up. Anything on it now? No. I might have to put a bucket on it for this to make sense it looks like a you know a well type thing even though it's not really a well because it's not like there's just water down there it's not that good <laughs> whatever you know what I mean all right what are we doing here we're going back and we're opening that one door because we know that we can do that now and then I don't know we'll just keep going from there but it's weird sometimes the movement feels weird it feels like I speed up uh, occasionally Oh, hell, it was the letters one. Um, so the, this one is down, and then this one is up, and this one is up and to the left. Can't rotate it the other way, I guess. That's not it. Oh, yeah, I confused those two. Um, that's not very smart. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm not very focused here. I should be. Focus. There we go. <laughs> I should definitely focus some more. Uh, what is this? I mean, some sort of, some sort of fish. Oh, okay, that's the bait for the fish. We have that. I still don't know what they're called. What are these called? I don't know if I know that. I should know that for sure. <laughs> I can't figure it out. I know I know that. I'm, I, I'm, I don't know why. What's wrong with my brain today? I can't focus. I can't do anything. It's a cone. I'm an idiot. <laughs> All right, like a pine cone, fir cone. I think it's just cone, right? Yeah. And call me for is the yeah. Okay, I'm slowly getting my brain back. That's helpful. <sighs> I don't know what's wrong. I felt fine before I started recording, but now I don't. <laughs> I feel like an idiot now. What is this? Some weird handle thing. Let me put. Okay, that's okay. That's the shape of it. That's good to know. 
Uh, anything else we can take here? No. Okay. Don't know what the sketch is supposed to tell me. This is just a tree with a weird glowing crystal we saw through the window. Okay, I think we're done here. Um, so it's either we catch a fish or we put this thing into this one. No, it's a more, it's a different shape. Why stop hitting space? Ah, uh, yeah, that's six, not five. Um, and we can try it. I guess it's just wait. Actually, how do I try it? How do I use it? Oh, it's like okay, like this. What does right click do? I don't know. Interesting though. That's weird. I don't know what that means. And there's a hand there instead. Uh, yeah, I do not know. I don't know if you can use the pine cone thing. Are those pines? I don't know. I don't know trees. <laughs> reach that <laughs> but it's probably like a shortcut for later I would assume so I don't think we can just put this here no I just don't know what we would do with the fish in all honesty Like right click and then it's really weird. I don't know what that means. Like a different um, mouse cursors. Don't understand it. Anyway, can't do anything right here. Let's find the spot for the for thing, the handle thing. I don't remember seeing that though. The the place for it, but I'm sure it's somewhere. Can we sprint? We can. Neat. Have I tried that before and forgotten about it? Maybe. But I remember it now. The store, right, this is this. Which I mean, that's clearly not the space. So put that handle thing. Uh, that's also something that's gonna open up late. Uh, I'm a little confused, maybe. There's just no. Hmm. Uh, I mean, this pours this somehow, but. How do I. How do I interact with it? Oh, here. I'm blind, apparently. Okay. Press mouse two to switch to free mouse mode. And then? Why do I have to do that? Uh, what am I trying to accomplish here is the question I have. I'm trying to push this and then, okay, let this stick out there. Sure, okay. Uh, how are we gonna get to that point though? <laughs> I do not know. I assume it has to be this one that sticks out. Is this making progress? I don't think it is. Like it's almost <laughs> making progress, but it's, it's not actually accomplishing anything. Because this is just always going to be blocked here, like that. Uh, this shouldn't be hard, but I'm bad at it right now, because, you know, I don't have my brain with me. <laughs> How do I switch these two? All right, so I can only... Get 
it far enough back like this, right? But then this is gonna be in the way. I can't really do anything about that. I can move this far enough to make a difference, so... Maybe it doesn't have to be this one. That's just an assumption I, I have. It has to be this one because this one is too big to fit. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Admittedly, it does. Um, it has to somehow switch all of these out, and I don't know how to accomplish that. can't now, like, can't really go anywhere from here. Why is this hard? Why am I bad? I have questions, but I don't have answers, unfortunately. around that, like that. <laughs> I'm just moving things in circles, I think. It doesn't feel like I'm making any progress at all. and I don't know how to do it. Cause I can't get this far enough over unless it's here and then I wouldn't be able to move it back. Why is this so hard? <laughs> it's a good puzzle though. Somehow. Surprisingly. I thought it was gonna be boring. It's not though specifically this puzzle. Um, there's no way to go from here. That's not it. I was so sure that was what I'm trying to do here. Yet somehow it is not. or trying to accomplish. Because there's only these two rotations, I can't like rotate it any other way. Just like this or like that. Uh, I really thought it would be... Oh, okay, I need to pour it out. Sure, and then the way it pours it it down. Right, 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 right. Okay. We did something. 
I almost had the right idea. Not quite, but almost. Let's listen to this. I prepared for your arrival for decades. The only thing you need to do is to climb the stairs I've built. This is the place where my journey began. Where I became truly aware of the unbelievable power this island possesses. I was rather curious back then. So eager to discover and learn. My mind was so clear and naive. I miss those times. Your journey must also begin here. I need you to inspect my studies and understand the basic utilities of these crystals. I've put an empty notebook right next to this letter. Feel free to take notes and draw sketches for yourself. Okay, sure, why not? Wait, I just drew a sketch? Of what? Oh, I can basically take screenshots. That's a very neat feature. Oh, man. Because <laughs> there are so many times in games like these where you need a screenshot or you need some information and you need to either write it down on like, paper or take a screenshot, which is not very immersive, but this is a very good way of doing this. Nice. <laughs> I very much approve. That's a really, really good idea. I don't think I've ever seen that. Like a sketch screenshot thing. It's just a very good idea. Interesting carpet. Something's missing here. My torch, apparently. It's... Charge now? <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. Uh, I don't know what we did there. Did we charge the... Yeah, I guess this is... We generated power and then... It looks like I can do something here, but I actually can't. I'm still confused about that part of the controls, but it's okay. Okay, so the orange one's a mid light. The light goes through the blue thing, and then that makes this thing glow. This whatever ink, I guess, since there's a paintbrush that has. Yeah, okay. Uh, what was the. Yeah, make a sketch of that. <laughs> uh, in case you don't get to keep it. I don't know what it means. I mean, four, two, five, one, three. Are those just numbers? Like this is number four, this is number two? Maybe, maybe not. We'll, we'll learn, we'll figure it out. Any more experiments we need to take a look at? This looks like something I want, but it's not. Okay, no, no voiceover this time. The Legend of Quernalore. Nalok. Quern <laughs> Quernalok. Thelmerian for a land of undying thoughts. Okay, it's the subtitle of the game. Makes sense. It's a mythological world first mentioned in an ancient Thelmerian manuscript where it represents a great but undefined and uncontrolled power. According to the legend, wielding the power of Colonel Log is a double-edged sword, holding the metaphorical meaning of the greatest ultimate responsibility this legendary world had a considerable impact on literature. Due to its enigmatic and unclear meaning, this world has no defined role in the Dalmarian mythology. The allegorical aspect of Colonel Log was taken up in the works of several post-Dalmarian writers. There are writings in which Colonel Log is mentioned as the world of the saviors is an example of utopia. However, in several manuscripts, writers blame the curse of this world for the very fall of Dormar. According to the legend, Kornolog is a monoway world that was hidden within the world chain somewhere between the Lashan line and the eastern edge of the Hona, Hona Ilona? That's, yeah, it's not an H. It looked like an H like that, but yeah, it's not. Ilona world crowd. According to our current knowledge, the idea of a hidden world contradicts the rules of the world chain. 
Many unsuccessful expeditions were launched in search of chronologue throughout the centuries, while present day philologi philologists, philologists, I don't know, the historians agree that the story is fictional, there is still debate on what served as its inspiration. And there are two footnotes here. The Lushan Line, a series of uh, secluded worlds mostly populated by primitive independent tribes and the Ilona World Cloud, a cloud of 21 civilized worlds which are members of the United Empire of Worlds. Interesting, at least. If not very useful at all right now. Just some lore, some backstory. Can we open this drawer? I just feel like we should be able to, but... No. Can I crouch? No. At least none of the default, usual default keys for crouch work, so I assume I can't. This opens for sure, but... Some weird crystal symbol there, I don't know. Okay. So one, this is, okay, we can look at it up close, I forgot. This is one, this is two. Are those symbols here? There are too many symbols here. No, I didn't, whatever. How do I open the sketchbook from here? The notebook. So the T is five. Let's see if you can find a T here. No. Oh, but it is five things I need to press. Hmm, that seems suspiciously in line with that note. I guess this could be the T. I don't know though. Like an, a far and over F, and then like a line of a dot, like a backwards S with a dot. That would be that. So I guess this one could be the four, the four, and, over, four and over F, and this is the backwards S with the dot. Maybe. And then? These symbols are not very clear, unfortunately. Uh, okay. The four is a ring with a line on top. I don't see one that looks like the third symbol though. Am I blind? <laughs> I might be. I don't really see one. Why was this so hard to find? I don't... Hmm. <laughs> it seems to be like, definitely the right thing, but I, I don't know. Like a hook with a line out of it. It's just not there, is it? No, no. No, 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 no. This one maybe? And not really though, like a line is next to it, not out of it. But it has a hook kind of character at least. Something's not right about those notes. And the ring with the line on top, not even that is really there. Like there's a ring with a line on the side, a ring with two lines, the ring with a line in the middle, a ring with a curved line. I don't know. I don't know. We did something there for sure. Did this change at all since we charged it?
don't know if I should have taken it out before it was done. I was just curious if I could. It does this weird glowy thing and then it stops. I don't know. I do not know. Which gate did we open? With that lever. This one. Or maybe more than this one. Maybe all of those ones. How long is this episode? It's almost long enough. It is basically long enough. Hmm. That seems right, but it doesn't really seem to do anything. Let's leave it here for now. It doesn't look wrong there in that spot. <laughs> and I mean, we can put it, put it there, so it has to be a reason for it, right? Scale, but what do I? What am I weighing here? And why? So many questions. This is a very good game because <laughs> there are already like 15 puzzles we've started and we can't finish, <laughs> or I can't finish at least. That's fun. That's a different type of crystal. You can click, but it doesn't do anything if you click it. What is that? Is that a key? It almost looks like a key in there. I don't know. Don't know for sure what that means. Some chart describing some sort of mechanism, I assume. Maybe those are these ones? I don't know. Through my geological research, I discovered that one of the island's most common endemic minerals can be used as a weak but consistent energy source. To test out their limits, I started to construct simple mechanisms designed to harness the power of these natural energy crystals. Makes sense. That's what everyone would do. <laughs> What's up here? More crystals, just lying about and then this thing that you can't use what am I looking at what am I looking for I guess could also be the question Can you rot to rotate this all the way we can? Seemingly at least. Turn this all the way around. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. is the same, like there's only one interaction here. And this lens with convex thing, I don't know what to do with it. I can't seem to put it here. Or here. It probably doesn't go on this device, this telescope. I feel like something, maybe the light source, maybe the torch goes here and then it shoots light out. Oh, I don't know. It's the last thing we're gonna try today, I think. Even though it might just belong there. <laughs> Where we put it. And nowhere else. It might not fit in that gap, actually. Doesn't look quite right to me. 
Nope, it does. And then we can... Aim it at that thing, and then... That did something, I'm sure. What? I do not know. But something. Definitely had to do something, right? Did it do anything to this crystal? No. Let's go over there and have a look. Oh, it uncovered this button. Which is now turned on. And there's another one like that up here. But that one doesn't have power. Interesting. <laughs> Maybe that's powered by that torch spot over there. Then I don't know if this stays powered. Or oh, there's a sequence. This is the first one we need to press. And that one wasn't the next one. That could also be the case. Because this one turned off too when we hit the other one. And there was like a... We did... Yeah. There are more here. Uh, wait, so we were at the south passage now. There's one here, there's one here, there's one here. Uh, one. But then there's no indication of which one is next but I mean this if this is what we're doing I don't know how if it is though let's just well, that was right apparently uh, let's see if the third one is that one yeah this is still on let's see if this is number three it is indeed more like this out here somewhere? I think so, but I'm not sure. But I do think so. Not this, no. There was one... Somewhere next to a door. Or am I wrong? I might be wrong. I think I remember that being here though. But maybe not. <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. Was it the very start? No. It wasn't this door, right? No. I mean, there's a thing here. I could have sworn it was another... But I guess it was different, maybe. I don't know. It's probably somewhere out there instead. I know we should end this episode. <laughs> I want to know this button sequence thing, though. Oh, there's one right here that I missed. Aha. Uh -huh. Good thing I missed it, otherwise I would have pressed it. And it did something. What? Again, I do not know. But we did it right. And they all went back into the ground. This is great. It's all very mysterious, nothing really is like, oh, this, this does that and this makes sense, it's just all like, well, this does something, sure. <laughs> very intriguing, very intriguing. I am sure these symbols are relevant too in some way, but not for now. Because for now we should really end this episode now. And uh, let's we'll just walk over here. I want to I wanna see if this door is open too. It is indeed. Let's open it all the way. Oh, and then we can do the... Oh, we can't though. Because this is broken, so we can't reach that lever to connect the bridge. I thought we could. However, we cannot. So we've come for circle. Oh, and this is what opened up. We'll figure out what that is next time too. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.